video for Tuesday night literally just went up. Becky said, I need to come out here and show you. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. But the sun is kind of in a dip between the clouds, between the trees right there. Maybe, maybe. It's kind of catching it. So anyway, this is kind of unusual. Blue sky and sun. Been this way a couple hours. And there's still snow up high. Becky talked to her dad. When we were in talking to my mom, he called her. Uh, he still had over a foot of snow, but it was 40 degrees snowing. So, but it's going to melt. You've seen tonight's, Tuesday night's video. Um, that was all around the Tualatin River, south of Hillsboro. That's all up high, so there's a few roads closed toward Forest Grove because the water's over them. And more will come down once all the snow melts. If there's no rain with it, it won't be as bad. But anyway, there you go. Just pick that up better. That's the moon. It's just a bit over a sliver. Like it's, I don't know if I had to guess, it's between 5 and 10% of the moon. And yes, it's clear this morning. It was clear overnight. And yeah, things are white. And I'm not happy with the weather guessers at the moment. All the water to the cows, steers, heifers, actually, um, it may or may not be froze up in the calf barn. Everything else right now is frozen, I'm sure. Because 26 degrees is kind of the threshold to get overnight. Oh, yeah. Hey, shut up. Anyway. So I'm making my way out here to check cows. Hopefully be able to get a few hydrants to shut off before the upright freezes on them. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. In the meantime, me so happy. Guessers say 32. My app said 31. And I know, I never believe them. But for the last three or four weeks, they've actually been within one or two degrees. Not this morning. Yep, Iceman's sneaking in the backside, getting him some breakfast. He'll make his way around. Took her a few minutes to actually get herself caught in there. At least she lets him eat. Ain't gonna last too much longer, though. She's either gonna figure it out or She'll be gone as soon as she can leave. Because she is costing way too much money. I mean, it's better than having to feed the poor guy a bottle, but if you do the math on how much time I spend so that calf can eat, she's almost cost the price of the calf, what the calf is worth now. Well, actually, probably more than that by now. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, 241. Good morning, 21 Easy. Oh, 611. Yeah. What about you girls? Oh, here she comes. You coming up here, Sapphire? You coming? You push old Chrome Girl out of the way. You're bigger than she is. Maybe we're not going to talk to Sapphire this morning. Morning. Yeah, how about you? Good morning. Oh, look who did come up here. Good morning, Sapphire. No, you all three touched me. Don't tell me you didn't. Okay, well, um, I'm not worried about that hydrant. <laughs> 
it's in here is protected enough. The one over there by I spent <clears throat> mother's pen. Sorry, I spin you around, get you dizzy. Uh, it was not frozen, but it went right out there. I can't shut it off. It's frozen on. Nothing dribbling. Just can't move anything. So, I'm going to uh, get done feeding and get the heat gun. And so that one's froze. Odds uh, are the one out for the cows is froze. And the one with the machine sheds froze. So I like to uh, warm them up enough you can turn them on. And hopefully get rid of some pressure. Because there's like six, well, up at the pump house there's 60 pounds or 65 pounds. Time you've got a 15, 20 foot drop anyway. Now you're a few more pounds. And when it freezes in place, that's how many pounds are on that. And when it thaws, that's a lot more pounds. So anyway, I got things to do. Well, there we go. We got some sunrise. And, oh, come on, there it is. Center of the screen. That's a little better shot of the moon. It's just not as pretty a color as it was earlier. That and it was clear over here earlier. But, there you go. Good morning. Finally. Dark spot. Middle of the screen. Just moved off to the left. That's a freaking coyote. That's a freaking coyote about 300 yards away from here. And there's a house there, there's a house there, and they're working on maybe starting to build one there. So I don't have a shot on that son of a bitch. Even if I was in a good spot to do it. Go figure. And uh, that's the first coyote we've seen in the daylight in probably two or three months. Something like that. So now you know how long it's been since I've used my index finger and had it twitch. Yeah, go figure. So I found when I came in. It's gonna run me over. Hey you. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Look at that pretty pink bow. Pink pants. And and roses on your shirt. Oh boy. Yeah, time to chase the doggy. It's a really good thing that's a little bigger at the base, so she doesn't face plant. Huh. Good morning. Good morning, you. Good morning, you. Oh, got a hold of me and the doggy. Yeah, doggy kisses. Yeah, I just got done thawing hydrants so I could close them. And uh, getting hoses unhooked and getting valves that were closed open so they don't pop. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go out there. You can't go out there. You know that. Mom in the hospital. She had a vet appointment, so we're on our way home. And a little snow on the edges here. This is the south side of the hill. Newburgh's right down there. Wave, say hi, Ron. Be not home. You should be aware. As far as I know. And sorry, Ron, we didn't keep you updated. Yeah. I thought Thailand was going to, but she hadn't talked to you, so. We, we haven't kept everybody updated. But. but Wrong should know. Yeah. Mom's not free yet. I, I was going to tell him, but I figured tight. Yeah. Oh, now we're getting to more of the snows on this side. It doesn't have as much. It doesn't go downhill as far. The other side's got a bit more. Damn it. And everybody, even where the line is clearly visible, everybody has been on the wrong side of the line except for like two of those cars. It's like, really? way down and on the way back. Everybody I mean, was my lane. Becky was over the fog line. More going down this hill than 
so much for keeping longer in the lane, just trying to keep from getting hit. And a couple times that almost didn't work. And right up here, it's the summit at 1200 and I think it's 1272. You should tell you around there. Used to be a sign here. There it is. Hey, I was right. 1272. Shahala Mountain Summit. What the hell is he taking a picture God knows. Find out he's stuck there. I don't know. No, anyway, right through here is where there was some trees down the other day, and the highway was closed almost all day because why? They're so slow at clearing anything. It's I don't clear anything on this road. I mean, I, I'd hate to run over this road with anything slightly oversized. You can't have the crap. But, yeah, snow there, snow here. There's another tree that was down, and, you know, it's, wow, it's two feet off the fog line. And you can come out of the see three back there and not, there's a field still full of snow and that draw there is still full of snow. The ground that we used to farm up here, we're almost down to, it's all full of snow, most of it. Here's what I was going to try to get for you. Well, there's some clouds over there now. When we came up, really nice view of Mount Hood and Mount St. Helens. I guess we're not going to see that. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it looks like when it's snowy up here. And I don't think they got over about the six inches up here. As far as I know. Well, if we find a spot we can actually see them out, I'll bring you back. I'm trying to show you. I did see it. No, I don't. The top of Mount St. Helens was just poking above the clouds. It's kind of flat top in case anybody didn't know that. Be able to see it again when we get down here. Since, since she blew her top in 81 or 80. Something like that. It's been a while ago. Mount St. Helens blew its top almost a month after what would have been my grandfather's 81st birthday. He passed away a month before his birthday. Now, anybody likes old GMCs? I'm still hoping we can get the clock here. It is. It's right dead center in the screen. And it just took behind the trees. So you can see the top. Yeah, we're getting down a little too far. It's kind of there. This is the top there. But back there, you can see it. Hey, doesn't that look kind of familiar? We went to saw mom again. Yay. She's looking better, got some color to her. They got one more thing they're going to do tomorrow at noon to check out. And uh, sounds like after that, she'll probably get to come home. So tomorrow might be fun. Anybody needs some? Cushion. Yeah, cups and cushion. Never know what you're going to see along here. So, anyway, that's my update I can tell you for now. She's, she's getting tired of her vacation she's on. All they do is let her lay there. Anyway, and let's see. It's time they cleaned out the water trough in the maternity pen because I needed it in that poor cow was probably some fresh water. I don't know what else she got done. How she would have fed the heifer caps. But I get to go and feed everybody else yet. Yeah, God only knows. Maybe there's a new baby when we get there. We'll find out. Well, I just made it to this end of the barn. Don't know what we got. But we got a good mama. Now my phone's ringing because Becky just saw it in the camera. I clean it. Oh, well, camera's still on. Hope you didn't get my phone conversation. Trying to see who it is. I just disturbed her and the calf is standing. Just stood up literally right now. 
So that's perfect. And yeah, yeah, there's Becky. She did see it in the camera. And Blue just got down here to eat his dinner, so he's griping. But there we go. Whatever we might have. Yeah, good, Mama. Really easier before they stand up. Or after they've been up for a little bit. But uh, Becky said the F word a minute ago, and I heard what? So she repeated it. Said, it's another bull calf. So right there's the token heifer. And look who's waiting for me right there. That would be a ruby. Huh. Well, you know, Ruby. Yeah, you and everybody waiting for me. Story of my life. Yeah. Now Becky's trying to breathe. Her asthma kind of slows her down once in a while. Yeah. It's been a day anyway. Right? Dog's barking. Maybe she went ahead and when I told her to stay in the barn and take a breather for a couple of minutes. But you know how women are. Dancer, you're just gonna stand there. Oh, and you? Well, ooh, hey, I made it. And there's 618. Mom was asking about her. We're talking about Boomer and 618 today. 18, she's a wide one. She has been the last few years and only had one. Boomer's a little wider than normal, though. And I don't care if there's one in there or two in there as long as she has heifer or heifers. And there's Minnie. She's going to stand here and take a dump, try to splatter me. So she wants to race me. Huh. Yeah, stand there and do it. Stand out there and do that. You butt. Don't even want any love. Just want to run me over. And yeah, they got plenty of hay to make it tomorrow in feeders. Over half full. But they'll have to get fed tomorrow. And that's probably in a video for today. So, with that, thank you for watching. Hope everybody had a good hump day. I mean, I'm pretty sure we had a good hump day, right? Because things are going pretty well for mom. And tomorrow we'll tell what's really going on, but she's a lot better now than she was when she went in. Oh yeah, you know, they planted a new house there, then planted a well. Now they're planting a well over there. Which I find is interesting because we never did get any no public notice of the new house. And we're in an area of, I can't think exactly what they call it. Um... In my lifetime, they've shut off four irrigation wells within two miles of us. Because, they see, there's not that much water. Hi, new boy. Hi, buddy. Yeah? Okay. Hi, Wally. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. We'll see what tomorrow brings, of course. And, uh... Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Because so far it's... The, the, the magical count's still going up instead of... Going up and then going down farther than where it was at. Yeah, two hands I get that for the first time. And like I said, we'll see what tomorrow brings. And these boys would like to eat, wouldn't you? Yeah.